Hello guys, good morning, welcome to my channel. So today I am here with a new video with respect to computer aptitude. So today uh, the SPI, sorry, IVPSPO mains was held and one of the question with respect to computer aptitude had appeared. So if you had uh, practiced well with respect to the logic gates and all, then you could have easily solved the questions, okay? So, and uh, this is my request that don't leave this topic for National Housing Bank because it will be compulsorily asked at least for five marks so that you can easily get five marks. So. I will be teaching you uh, the easiest method to solve this uh, problem okay and in yesterday's class I have uh, told how to uh, solve all the logic gates problem in the easiest method and likewise today I will be uh, teaching the coded conversions that is from binary to decimal decimal to binary and uh, other uh, conversions that is hexadecimal and octal, octal, octal etc so with that let us uh, not waste time and uh, get into the class so before that if you like the video please like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so now let us go to the first question. So the first question is convert the given decimal number into uh, decimal into binary. So decimal is nothing but 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. But binary is from 0 and 1. Only two di digits um, exist. So we need to convert decimal to binary for this 175. So, so 175 is a decimal number. So there are two methods. So the first method is writing in the power of 2 power n. So 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3 etc so like this you need to write until you uh, until you add the all these things and get a summation of 175 okay so if for 2 power 0 is present then you have to write 2 power 0 as 1 and if 2 power 1 is not present then you have to write 0 likewise you need to keep on writing up to 2 power n such that the summation will be 175 so this is a tedious method so we will leave this so we will take a one of the easiest method okay so the second method is so write 175 here and write a uh, box type here and write 2. 2 we are writing 2 here because the decimal digits consist of only 2 digits that is 0 and 1. So now we keep on dividing until the least digit is obtained. So I will show you. So here 175 has to be divided. So 2 8 are 16, 2 7 are 14, remainder is 1. Okay. Then again keep on dividing till you reach the least number. So I'll extend this line. 2 4 is a 8, 2 3 is a 6, remainder is 1. Again, write 2. 2 2 is a 4, 2 1 is a 2, remainder is 1. 2 10 is a 20, remainder is 1. 2 5 is a 10, remainder is 0. But still, you, have, you haven't, you, you may have got the remainder 0, but still 5 is there. This is not the least number. So you have to go to the least number. 2 2 is a 4, so remainder is 1. Again, 2 1s are 2 so now the remainder is 0 so now you have reached the least possible digit that can be divided by 2 so uh, further you can't divide because 1 cannot be divided by 2 in, in, in this format um, in the normal decimal form you can divide 1 by 2 is 0.5 I know but in this conversion you can't decide so this is the last form now you have to write this in the binary form so how to write this so you have to start from here so don't forget to take this number since you have not divided this number you have to start from here so the first number would be 1 and then you have to go in this upper format okay so please remember this 1 then you will get 0 then 1 0 1 1 1 1 so this should be your answer so if you look into the option yeah see this is the answer here. 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 so I guess uh, this uh, uh, ladder type of uh, solving the problem as is clear to you okay don't worry if you have uh, not understood here uh, yeah, there are more number of problems i will take that and they will solve you so see this is a very simple problem you have to write the number in the in this in this format and you have to put the lines and you have to divide by two this is because you have to convert into divide binary form if you have to convert into other forms i will uh, have taken the other problems also you can see that okay so you need to keep on dividing until the least number obtained so after the least number is obtained you have to first write the least number obtained and then go in the upper format so if you go in this lower format then you'll get the answer as wrong okay so please remember that so if you go in the reverse format then the answer will be wrong you have to go in the upper format you have to stick this in your mind so that you won't get confused now let us go to the yeah see the explanation has also been provided and this is not four point this is the fourth fourth option the there is some mistake okay and uh, if you need the explanation also, I will give you the PDF. From there, you can refer to it.
so now next uh, type of question is you need to now convert binary into decimal so the, uh, before you had um, con you had converted decimal into binary but now you have to convert binary into decimal okay this is also very simple don't worry so as i this uh, for this method you have to uh, use two power n method so one zero zero one 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 so these uh, places represent two power zero two power one two power two two power three 2 power 4, 2 power 5. So now uh, find out the values for these things. 2 power 0 is 1. Okay. And 2 power 1 is 2. 2 power 2 is 4. But since here 0 is there, 2 cube is also 0. 2 power 4 is also 0. And 2 power 5 is present. So we need to find the value of 2 power 5. And the value of 2 power 5 is 32. So we have to write 32. And everything should be added. So 32. 36 38 39 so answer is 39 see very simple right so you have to and the reason why you, i took zero here is because the question uh, question is having zero so you, have, you should not consider these values so by mistake if you consider these values then it will be a blender okay so you have to just use your common sense and logic to solve these kind of problems yeah see the explanation is also provided you can refer to it convert the decimal into octal form yeah see now decimal into octal form so octa means eight so you need to say use the same logic see 125 normal ladder diagram right 8 because octal so now uh, divide it 8 ones are 8 8 5 is a 40 and remainder is 5 again divide it by 8 8 ones are 8 because you can't do it two times so the remainder is 7 so now the uh, least possible uh, digit is 1 so go from here go from in this way so 1 7 5 see you got the answer one seven five but see in the uh, uh, subscript they have written eight which means octal so this number is representing the octal number so whereas this they should have been represented as 125 10 means decimal number because they have mentioned here decimal to octal so see these are the simple tricks that you need to use while solving the problems there there won't be any technical uh, graduation or engineering level questions the questions will be easy the only thing is you need to know the method so see 175 8 and the explanation is also provided and I, I, I will also explain it to you convert the given base 10 into base 16 see this is in another method of asking the question so as i said base 10 is nothing but decimal okay and base 16 is nothing but hexa hexa decimal So these are the differences you need to know so simply to confuse you they will give in this type of nomenclature so if you know this nomenclature then you can easily solve this okay so now it is in the form of 210 210 is in the form of decimal number okay draw the ladder diagram so base 16 means write 16 here so now so start solving this so 16 on the 16 16 3 is a 48 so the remainder is 2 now you can't um, divide 13 by 16 so you need to go in this method but one more thing in the hexadecimal format there are certain representations so the common things are 1 2 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so till here the things are normal but in the next step you can't write 10 so 10 is written as a then 11 is written as b 12 is written as c 13 is written as d so for 13 you have to write d so after d you have to write 2 and since it is hexadecimal you need to write 16 so this will be your answer see so simple so i'll write the table here for 10 you have to write a for 11 you have to write b for 12 you have to write c for 13 you have to write d for 14 you have to write e for 15 you have to write f so this is the end so you may ask why, why this is the end so you already have these my own 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 10 10 numbers here then you have 11 12 13 14 15 16 so in exercise only 16 numbers can exist so already 16 numbers are here so the last number is 15 and f so apart from this they won't ask any questions higher than this they, the, those are all engineering level questions so that is not required for our banking examinations okay so this is the simplest method 
that I am teaching to you and it is very easy to solve also. So if you uh, practice at least two to three problems, then you can uh, surely solve the problems. Okay. Now let us go into the next question. So the explanation is also provided here and I have also explained it to you. What will be the ones complement of the decimal number 33? So decimal number 33 means not 0.33. It is to the base of 10. Okay. So they are asking the ones complement. Now for uh, writing the ones complement, you need to convert the decimal into binary form. So as the normal process, process procedure, write this. Two. Two ones are two. Two six are twelve. Remainder one. Two eights are sixteen. Remainder zero. Two fours are eight. Remainder zero. Two twos are four. Remainder zero. Two ones are two. Remainder zero. So now you need to go start from here and go in this way. So one zero 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 one. So this is the you know conversion of this decimal 33 into binary. Now you need to find the ones complement. So to finding the ones complement, you need to reverse these things. That's it. So for example, in this question, to find the ones complement, I am reversing this. One is reversed to zero. That is you need to take the ones complement. So one time you have to complement it. Zero, one, 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 zero. See simple. The problem has been solved. So the basic logic is for to con uh, to find the ones complement of a decimal number, convert the decimal number into binary, and after binary, uh, write this in the in this format, and then takes the ones complement of each letter. That's it. Simple. Okay. So this is the basic idea that you need to use for ones complement. Okay. Now let us go into the next question. See the explanation has been provided. What will be the ones complement? See, for here the, they are already given you in the decimal, uh, sorry, binary form. Now you need to convert it into the ones complement. So just by convert, uh, take the complement 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. The answer is here. See, it's very simple, right? Questions will be asked. Please uh, don't uh, neglect this. Uh, now you will get a two's complement. Okay. So they were given the binary digit. So first, let me take the ones complement. So one's complement is one zero one one zero one. So for two's complement, you think that again converting this? No, that's not the wrong method. That's not the right method. It's a wrong. So what we need to do to take the two's complement is that we need to add plus one in this digit. Okay. So if we add this, then one plus one shouldn't be written as two. It should be written as zero, and the carry forward must be done. So please remember this. This is very important. So if you get confused here, then uh, the whole marks will will go. So take, first take the ones complement, and for the twos complement, add plus one in this digit. So one plus one should be written as zero, and and carry forward must be done. So one plus zero is one, one one zero one. So this is the answer. One zero one one zero. See, very simple. So you need to just understand the logic. So if you understand the logic, then nothing is impossible in binary digits. Okay. The explanation has been provided. So if uh, a triangle represents zero and uh, this uh, circle represents one, what will be the ones complement? So now let us decode this. So this is, uh, wait, please note this, this is compulsory question that will be asked in NHB. Okay. So let us code this. So if triangle is zero and circle is one. So this is the code for this diagram. Now we need to find the ones complement. Simple. One, zero, one, one, zero, zero. One, zero. See, so it uh, almost takes 5 to 10 seconds to solve these problems. So, if you don't know, then you have to keep on searching what to do for this one's complement and all. So, if you know, it just it will just take uh, 5 to uh, 5 to 10 seconds. Okay. The triangle represents 0 and circle represents 1. If triangle appears in units place, then its value is 1. If it appears in tens place, its value is double to 2 like that it continues using the given term terminology answer the following questions for example how will you represent and and two in the code language see in this question don't get confused by seeing everything okay the only thing you need to do is find the code for 102 so they have just given you given this uh, lengthy question to confuse you so write 102 write the ladder keep on dividing two fives are ten two ones are two remainder zero 225 is a 50, remainder 1. 212 are 24, remainder 1. 26 are 12, remainder 0. 
two, three is a six. A remainder zero. Two ones are two ones are two. Remainder one. So this is the, now you have solved this. Now start from here and go in this direction. One one zero zero one one zero. Now you have to represent this in the format of triangle and uh, circle. So triangle represents zero and uh, circle represents this. So circle, circle, triangle, triangle, circle, circle, triangle. So now find out the option. Circle, circle, triangle, triangle, circle. See, you got the answer. Simple. So they have given it to you to confuse. They have just mentioned the process that uh, this um, if it is in the units place it will be one if it appears in the tens place it will the value is doubled so we have the same use the same logic here and if they have mentioned it in a different way and with different numbers then we had to think about it but since uh, this is the bank exam the normal questions will be asked so you need to do the normal ladder type and write these things and code for the circle and triangle now you got the answer as four that's it it is very simple so if you get uh, if you get any doubts during this then you can surely ask it in the comment section i will solve you uh, solve your problems okay the code for this represents so based upon this itself they are asking this thing so um, uh, this is also very easy uh, i'll give it give it to you as a homework this is since it is the last question you can solve it and answer it in the comment section okay uh, so the answer is also been provided answer is 20 but uh, the method method is very important so if you know the method you can type it in the comment section okay so this was the complete video guys i guess uh, this um, video was informative for you all and it was also very easy because everything has been clear to you and if you still have any doubts you can um, ask me in the comment section or you can also ping me in the telegram so i will um, if you send the question photo then i will uh, solve it and send it to you back okay so this was the complete details guys so please keep practicing more because um, today ibps um, mains has taken place and uh, there are more possibility that uh, there won't be any postponement for nhb and the examination might be in february and or in march first week so please don't neglect and keep on practicing these kind of questions so with that that's all for today guys thank you